Hello and welcome to episode 1 of my new knitting podcast. My name is Lea and you can find me as well as the show notes for the podcast on my blog freezeframe.blogspot.com. I'm also on Ravelry as freezeframe as well as on Instagram as alinor89. I am recording this just outside of Paris in France and... Since this is the first episode, I thought I could tell you a little bit about how I got into knitting and then I'm going to show you what I've been working on and what I've just finished. Alright, so I have been knitting for over 18 months now. I started at the end of 2013. I actually got sick back then and I had to have surgeries and then I got stuck at home for 8 months, maybe more which was really boring and sucked. So I watched a lot of TV shows and a lot of movies until I got crazy. <laughs> so I woke up one morning and I thought, hey, I should learn how to knit. I had just heard of a few companies that sold kit. They're called We Are Knitters and Wood and the Gang. And I decided to give it a try. So I ordered a few kits and watched a lot of YouTube videos to get the hang of it, I guess. And I started knitting. I made a hat, then another hat, and more hats, until I got confident enough to make bigger projects. At which point I started a sweater, which is actually the sweater that I'm wearing right now. It's a bubble sweater by We Are Knitters. I'm not sure it's called the bubble sweater in, like, in the shops, but that's how I call it. And it's made with Peruvian cotton. I would change like a thousand things on it if I were to knit it again today. But I just love it. I wear it all the time and I know I'm going to keep it as long as I can. Because it's my first big project and I'm so proud of it. Really. <laughs> and so that's how, that's how I discovered knitting. And how I fell in love with knitting. And not long after, I started following a few knitting blogs where I discovered new designers and a whole new world. And not long after that, I discovered Ravelry, which is basically like heaven for knitters, I guess. And I've been knitting all the time and all the things ever since. Around six months ago, I discovered podcasts. And that's why today I thought maybe I could give it a try. So... That's my story, I guess. Let's move on to what I've been working on. So, weirdly enough, I don't have many things on the needles right now, which is weird for me because I'm usually juggling with five or six projects. It's how I do knitting and how I do life too, I think. So, first on the needle is a pair of sock, which I have just started, and it's adorable. They are Fair Isle socks from the latest issue of Pom Pom magazine. It's this one, the one for spring 2015. And the socks are called Elsk. I'm not sure you're supposed to pronounce it, but that's how they're going to look when they're finished. So they are basically Fair Isle socks with a cute heart motifs. And I'm making it out of Drops Yarn, the Fabel Uni, Uni Collection, in three colors, the Mustard Yellow, which is my favorite color, so get used to seeing it maybe. And then I'm, I'm making the Fair Isle pattern in these two colors, white and a deep jean blue, I guess. And I am loving it. I mean, it's amazing. Everything about the sock is amazing. The heart motif, the back side, which I think I like even more than the, bay, the A side, and even the back is really fun. I love the back of Fair Isle projects. I think it would be amazing to like make a Fair Isle project and then wear it inside out because it's so cute. So that's my sock. As you can see, I'm making it toe up. And I've used the uh, Judy Magic Caston for the first time on this one. And it's really simple and really cute. I just love the look of this toe. 
you should get used to me <laughs> talking about socks because I just love socks. I can remember me saying on Ravelry maybe four months ago to another podcaster, I'm never going to make socks. I'm just not interested in socks. And this is going to be my hate pair. So clearly, I have a thing for socks now. <laughs> so that's my first project. And the second one is, is still a work in progress, but not for much longer. It's actually almost done. And it's the Water Lily top, which is also from a Pom Pom magazine, from a back issue from spring 2013, I think, or 2014, I'm not sure. So it's a top that's work in, in the round. So as you can see, it's just knitting, knitting in the round for like 13 inches. And then there's lace, which is gorgeous. I've actually just blocked it, which is why it's so pretty right now. And all I have left to do is to graft the shoulders together, here and here, and then work on the back uh, neck. The yarn I'm using is also drops, but it's a um, baby alpaca and silk, which is this yarn, and it's amazing. It's so soft and squishy, and it blocks beautifully. The stitches were all a bit weird at the beginning, from where I had stopped or where I had done a decrease, but it's just beautiful and drapey, and it's going to be perfect for spring, because it's so light, I just adore it. So those are my work in progress at the moment. Well, no, there's a third one, which is like a long-term project, I guess. And it's my sock yarn blanket, which right now is like a big square. So I'm using leftover yarn from various projects, like my shawls and my socks, as well as yarn that people have been sending me or swaps I've been taking part in and adding them one square, one square after the other which is an amazing project it's going to take absolutely forever but it's so full of memories and and colors and yarn that I just adore like I love them <laughs> so that's what I've been working on recently Finished objects now. I have two this week and one is surprise, a pair of socks. <laughs> so those are the socks. And they're also made with drops yarn, but in their print collection, which is self-striping mock ferrile yarn. And I've made ankle socks for spring. Here's one and here's the other. And because I have a weird brain. I actually made sure that my two socks matched perfectly. Which everyone thinks is very funny, but like, I need to have matchy socks, I guess. Um, the one great thing about this yarn is that it's really cheap. I paid maybe 3 euros for the skein, and I got to make a full pair of socks with just that skein. It's got merino and nylon, which is perfect for socks. And it's not um, it's not the softest yarn, sock yarn that I've had, but I can tell it's going to last for a long time. It's very sturdy, but it's still soft and, and nice on your feet. Um, I basically didn't do much. It's just pure knitting in the round with um, a short row heel. I love it. It's I think it's my favorite right now. I really want to try the fish lips kiss here next, but right now I'm I'm loving this one. My second finished object is a pair of mitten. Which are right here. And they look weird because I kind of messed up the blocking of this one. I need to block it again so it's a bit bigger. But they're beautiful. 
I'm not going to wear them before for the next nine months I think because it's sunny now but I adore them as you can see it's there's a cute lace motif in the middle and the rest is just paint stuck in it with a one by one knitted cuff the pattern is called rain and it's free and ravelry and the yarn I used is from a French indie dyer called Vilaine and it's alpaga and silk which is really really soft and fluffy and perfect for me dance I think because it's going to, to be really warm but at the same time it's quite it's quite light and it's in a beautiful blue jeans again okay, I guess I just I love them it's such a quick project each one took me maybe a day I just did a house of cards marathon and that's when I need them actually so that's what that was like three episodes and another three episodes <laughs> so those are my projects for the week I actually I didn't buy any yarn recently because I have way too many right now but I I have a few skeins that I've just wanted and I really want to turn them into projects but I'm not quite sure what they should become yet. So the first one is Mad Vintosh Merino Light which is my favorite yarn. It's it's just amazing. It's so soft and it's perfect for shawls. If you want to make the most beautiful shawl you need Tosh Merino Light. And the colorway is called Shire which is basically why I bought it because I'm a bit Lord of the Rings fine fan and it's a beautiful beautiful forest green with shades of a brown chocolate and teal and dark and not so dark green and I know I want it to become a shawl but I'm not quite sure which pattern yet so if you have any idea please feel free to share and the second one is Socks That Work which I actually bought a while ago and it's um, it's teal and purple and grey and some sort of light dark beige or light brown and it's gorgeous it's 100% superwash merino and I have no idea what it should become so if you have an idea please do share Voila, I guess uh, this is it for this week. Thanks for giving my podcast a try. And please give me a comment on YouTube or on my blog with ideas or comments or anything. Alright, bye!